According to Chinese legend, a magical turtle once emerged from a river with this special arrangement of dots and lines on its shell. There's a secret mathematical property to this pattern. If we count the number of dots in each group, we can write the numbers in an array. Now, if we add up the numbers in the first row, they add up to 15. The same goes if we add up the numbers in the second row or the third row. In fact, if you add up the numbers in any of the columns, they also add up to 15. And the same goes if you add up the numbers in either of the diagonals. This is a magic square. It's also known as a low shoe square. This pattern also holds a very special property which the ancient Chinese discovered. Hi, this is Presh Talwakar. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a 9 by 9 magic square using the low shoe technique. We'll illustrate the method to create a 3 by 3 magic square. The first step is to write the numbers in ascending order, starting from the column on the right. Now rotate the numbers 45 degrees counterclockwise to make a diamond shape. The third step is to swap the numbers that are in the corners of this diamond. So the numbers 1 and 9 are in the corners. We'll go ahead and swap them. We'll also swap the numbers 7 and 3 which are in the corners. The final step is to compress these numbers back into a square. So we'll bring the 3 and 7 in, and we'll bring the 9 and 1 in. And this is a magic square that's 3 by 3. All of the numbers add up to 15 in each row and each column, and the diagonals. Just because this method will be important, we'll go through the steps one more time. You write the numbers 1 through 9 in order, then you rotate the numbers, to create a pyramid shape, swap the numbers in the corners, and finally compress the numbers back into a square. So we can use this technique to build a 9 by 9 square. How do we do that? The first step is to write the numbers 1 to 81. In each column, we're going to write 9 numbers in increasing order. Now we will focus on the numbers only in the first row. There are a total of nine numbers here. And now we can use the low shoe technique to create a three by three magic square from these nine numbers. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll write the numbers in increasing order, starting from the column on the right. Then we will rotate these numbers 45 degrees counterclockwise to create a diamond shape. We'll swap the numbers in the corners. And finally, we'll compress this back into a square. And this is a magic square that involves the numbers from the first row. The next step is to repeat the exact same process for the numbers in the second row. So we could write out these numbers in ascending order, starting from the column on the right, rotate them, swap the corner elements, and put them back into a square. But there's a nice trick we can use that's a shortcut. Notice that all of the numbers in the second row are exactly one more than the numbers in the first row. So 74 is one more than 73, 65 is one more than 64, and so on. So how can we create a magic square from the numbers in the second row? Well, the trick we can use is we can simply add one to all of the numbers in the magic square we've just created. Because we're adding one to each element, this will still create a magic square. The sum will just be three more in each row. So this will be a magic square that involves all the numbers from the second row. And you can see where this is going. We can actually create three by three magic squares for every single row for the numbers one through nine. 
So I'm not going to do that right now. That'll be too many numbers to put on the screen. But just keep in mind we can do that. And we're go that's how you can use the low shoe method to create 3x3 three three magic squares of every single one of these nine rows. Once you create these 3x3 three three squares, the question is how are you going to position them to create a 9x9 nine nine magic square? So the next step is to position these 3x3 three three squares. So notice in the original magic square, we have the numbers 1 through 9. And there are 9 rows that we want to put 3x3 three three grids. So we look where the 1 is. This magic square that we've created has a 1. And the 1 in the original magic square is in the last row in the second column. So we're going to delete that one and put this entire magic square, this three by three magic square in that position. We're going to repeat this for the number two. So the number two is in the upper right corner of the original magic square. So we're going to delete that element and now we need to put in the three by three magic square that involves the number two. We obtain that by adding one to every single number of the 3x3 three three magic square that involves 1. We then repeat the process for the number 3. The number 3 is in the second row in the first column. We delete it and now we create a 3x3 three three magic square involving the number 3 which we obtain by adding 1 to each of the elements of the 3x3 three three magic square involving the number 2. So this is kind of a recursive method to create a 9x9 nine nine magic square. And now we repeat this process for the numbers 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So I'll go ahead and skip all these steps, and this is the result you get. This is a 9x9 nine nine magic square, which is built up from small 3x3 three three magic squares that we started out using the low shoe technique. And each of these 3x3 three three magic squares is a magic square itself and I put in bold where the numbers are. So we have 4, 9, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 1, and 6 and those come from the original magic square which was on the, our magical turtle. Now the amazing thing is that this 9x9 nine nine arrangement of numbers every single row, column, and diagonal adds up to 369. And this is absolutely amazing. To do this by chance would be astronomically low. The odds of it are just so low. So this is a really interesting way that they came up to develop a 9x9 nine nine magic square using the low shoe technique. It's a very clever algorithm and it builds up from the original 3x3 three three magic square to make a 9x9 nine nine magic square. The best part is that the steps of the three, each process were easy to remember. So it's something you could reconstruct any time. And it's really amazing that the ancient Chinese were able to come up with this method. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. You can also follow Mind Your Decisions on Facebook, Google+, and Patreon. You can catch me at Presh Talwalker on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and Pinterest. And please check out my books. There's a link in the video description. I write books about math puzzles and different mathematical topics, and I think you'll really enjoy them.